Let's go back to last Sunday. We'll have a look at Luck Dragon running second and Mr. Bone Crasher ran third in the same race. That's Luck Dragon leading. Polo Master won the race. This race was decided over the 1600 metre trip and uh, Mr. Bone Crusher, Luck Dragon both clash again in race one there on Saturday. Luck Dragon wants to lay in it. Mr. Bone Crusher, Polo Master comes at the pair. Polo Master goes up to t hit the lead now from Luck Dragon. Then Mr. Bone Crusher and Polo Master pulls away. And Polo Master goes on to beat Luck Dragon. Mr. Bone Crusher ran third and fourth is Supreme Sasso from Alacard, Emperor Sheen Long. The two stable mates working together, I speak of Deputy Law, who is working up on the outside of Luck Treasure. Now these two horses do go around in a race number two on Saturday, the Orchid Handicap. Deputy Law is first up, hasn't raced since February, uh, yet to win a race in uh, 22 outings so far in its career. And uh, Luck Treasure is the horse on the inside. Uh, Luck Treasure not racing well at the moment, but uh, can improve there in race number two. Luck Treasure and Deputy Law, both working on the grass there on Tuesday morning. Now the grey Casper worked okay on the sand on Tuesday. Casper hasn't won a race in three years, but does look a very good chance of returning to the winner's uh, circle there in race number two. The Orchid handicap over 1,200 metres, trained by Shan Mugham is Casper, and AMI's that will take the ride on the grey horse there on Saturday. That is Casper. Now this is Casper's stable mate, I speak of Hollywood Boy. Recent form only fair, worked okay on the sand on Tuesday, Hollywood Boy. He goes around in race two and Sandana will take the ride from barrier number nine. And uh, that is Hollywood Boy, he's only had the one win from 35 starts overall. Highland Falcon, the Irish bred five-year-old, given a solid hit out there by its race rider, TM1. Highland Falcon will head the weights in race number three there on Saturday. It draws at the inside and is first up since July, where he was unplaced over 1,200 metres in Penang. He's won three races overall from 30 starts as Highland Falcon. Carries the 59 kilos there in the Class 5 on Saturday. TM1 takes the ride. This horse is Capricci Prince, who did two laps on the sand on Tuesday morning, did a slow round and then sped up in the second round. And uh, KT Cheng will take the ride on Capricci Prince, goes around in the Rose Handicap, that's race four on Saturday. First up since August is Capricci Prince. His form and last in work was quite solid, including uh, two victories and uh, Capricci Prince resuming from a spell in a race four. Tillsworth Freddy also goes around in a race number four and uh, TM1 will take the ride on Tillsworth Freddy, draws barrier number 10. Uh, coming off some reasonable form, he did win a race back on the 7th of August. He was successful over 1,200 metres at Ipoh and he's won four times over the journey. And he worked okay on the sand, looking quite sharp there was Tillsworth Freddy with his race rider TM1 aboard. And that's uh, Tillsworth Freddy carrying the number 236 saddlecloth number. Nothing to lose returned to the winner's circle last weekend as we go back to the 1st of October when he was successful over 1,400 metres. He goes back to the 1,200 metres there on Saturday in race number four, the Rose Handicap. And uh, Jackson Lowe's got the right again. Let's have a look at Nothing to Lose, winning last weekend. Halo Inspire. It's beyond wealth in front. Look at Nothing to Lose. He's flashing up along the inside, and he's got the money here in the last. Nothing to Lose races away for Jackson Lowe. Nothing to Lose has defeated Beyond Wealth. Third of Vancey, close up in the run, La Familia. Now Classic King will be backing up from his uh, victory last uh, weekend 
and uh, he was successful over 1,000 metres on the 1st of October. Jay Daniels got the right again, and he draws barrier 10 in the Lotus Handicap. Let's have a look at that winning performance of Classic King. Glory's about to throw out the challenge, and here's Flutes descending upon them out wide with Happy Family. It's Classic King from Uncle Glory. Flutes closing off there, and on the inside, Happy Family, but Classic King first out. First home gets the cash. Classic King. Classic King has won from Uncle Glory, and third over, Happy Family, and then... Now, Good Taste is uh, returning to the racetrack and is coming off that last start victory on the 7th of August. So he's been freshened up. KT Cheng, who rode him to victory on that occasion, he's got the ride again on a Good Taste. He worked OK on the sand on Tuesday. Good Taste goes around in the Bird of Paradise handicap and he draws barrier number seven. He led from ten last time. He might do the same from barrier seven this weekend. That is Good Taste. A uh, Jew home is coming off two seconds in a row. The most recent was last Sunday when he went down narrowly to Great Geronimo. Uh, looked as though he had the winner's measure at one stage. Jew home, it wasn't to be. He'll be going for a one better there on the weekend. There, Jew home. This is him running second to Great Geronimo over 1,400 metres last Sunday. Jew home. Fighting back along the inside, three across the track. Jew Home now takes over from Great Geronimo, and then came Silver and Gold. Jew Home in front, Great Geronimo coming back. Great Geronimo goes to Jew Home. They hit the line. Maybe Great Geronimo from Jew Home. Silver and Gold was close up in third spot from Rocket. Ex Now the six-year-old mare, Brave Malala, she'll be first up there in uh, the eighth event on the program. She goes around in the Sunflower Stakes. First up since the Parat Gold Vase, where she was simply outclassed. Her form prior to that was quite solid. So look for a forward showing from Brave Malala. Jay Daniels got the ride and uh, draws gate number 11. Number 181, Brave Malala. Now let's have a look at Triple Wonder Best winning the uh, race there on uh, Sunday last week. And of course Triple Wonder Best is dropping back to 1,400 metres. This victory over 1,600, he's got a very good record over the 1,400 metres. That's right timing the grey. He also goes around in the Sunflower Stakes. Let's have a look at Triple Wonder Best scoring last weekend. Five star quality on the inside, Triple Wonder Best and Royal Greens winding up out wider. Right timing, trying to defy all challenges there with star quality, Triple Wonder Best. Star quality, Triple Wonder Best is Triple Wonder Best along the inside. And Triple Wonder Best has got up to win. Triple Wonder Best over star quality and Royal Green. Then came right timing, Great Scott, Mayor.